And also um, here we have uh, the chart of oil, brand oil is here. And um, uh, today is the start of a global energy forum in Algeria. Um, I have some info about it. Let's uh, spend a couple of minutes analyzing this, the consequences of this event because it will affect commodity markets, it will affect the US dollar and consequently other uh, major forex currencies and um, also uh, the market's risk sentiment is closely dependent on the dynamics of such key resource, such key uh, commodity as oil. Um, the meeting starts today on Monday and it will take um, three days. It will end on Wednesday. And according to the sources, the informal meeting between um, nations which are in OPEC and which are not the members of this organization will um, take place on Wednesday, September 28th. Still, we can have some announcements from uh, the world's largest oil producers on Monday, on Tuesday as well. So be ready for the market's volatility, be ready for the swings in oil price. Many uh, oil producers, the key players, will attend this international energy forum. Uh, the main topic will be discussion whether to uh, freeze oil production at the current levels. And uh, we remember that uh, the meeting of the such topic already took place in April, but uh, unlike that, unlike back then, now Iran might be willing to be more cooperative. Iran managed to increase production to near pre-sanction levels. It has increased its uh, oil output sharply in the past month. And now it has come to um, levels of production which are more acceptable for the um, country's authorities. So they will likely be willing uh, to negotiate with um, such with their key rivals, Saudi Arabia, and other producers, including Russia and um, and uh, OPEC members as well. However, we can see that uh, the production increased not only in Iran; it also increased in Russia, Saudi Arabia, and Iraq. And um, as a result. Uh, production is now at its record high levels. So even if uh, we have the freeze of production at these levels, uh, the odds are and the risks are that it won't affect um, the market of oil and won't have the price to get up from the current levels because uh, such um, freeze agreement won't really change anything. If uh, the large producers agree uh, to cut production, even um, maybe make a slight cut to their production levels, this will be something new. This will be something that the oil market isn't pricing in. And in this case, the price uh, should move towards $50 per barrel mark and maybe try to test levels above it. It will be still very difficult for oil to overcome this $50 per barrel mark, but still the possibility of test of this level will uh, be very pronounced in this case. However, uh, the baseline scenario is that there will be uh, no decision or a kind of freeze um, production decision and as a result oil will remain trading below um, $50 per barrel mark. If we look at the Brent oil chart, the daily chart, um, we'll see that uh, the pressure on uh, the support line in this case uh, will intensify and um, the pressure on levels around $45 per barrel will be bearish and probably will get 
um, a slight of prices below this level. In the longer term, in the medium term, there are more negative factors for oil than the positive ones, in my opinion.